nuisance of himself. And his perseverance after only 10 minutes allowed Grant Bredner to open his and Hibbs' account. United defence were still on their winter break, and 1 0 it was. The Hibs midfielder added his second in the 28th minute, and this time he didn't need the help of any of his teammates. The former Manchester United youth player coolly finishing from just outside the box. Just two minutes after the break, Billy Dodds looked to have thrown United a lifeline, but the goal was disallowed. Offside, the decision. With 20 minutes to go, Dundee United got their opener after Charlie Miller's corner was only cleared to substitute Stephen O'Donnell. A great strike, but Ian Murray's head looked to have helped it on its way. Paul Hegarty added Jim Hamilton into the fray as United searched for the equaliser and he was to have an almost immediate effect after Jim McIntyre was fouled in the box by Yannick Zambernardi. The veteran striker showed all his experience to wrong foot Nick Colgan and two all it was. But today it was to belong to Grant Brebner and with only three minutes left on the clock, he took his and his club's tally to three. Yeah! Jubilation on the bench well justified because a place in the fourth round was minutes away. A good downward header, but Paul Gallagher seemed to go down in slow motion. United did get the ball in the back of the net again, two minutes into stoppage time, but Jim Lachlan's strike was ruled offside. So 3-2 it finished, all thanks to that man Brebner. I've never had that many shots in a game before. <laughs> But no, it's, it's something, you know, I think the main thing, you know, I'm not going to get carried away by a hat-trick, the main thing was we came up here and, and went into the next round and, and that's what we're happy to do.